Hello everyone! And no, I'm not about to try on a mask, at least I don't think so. But hey, you never really know with these Sephora play boxes. So I just started doing this with my boxy charms, which I think was, I mean, I think it was my last video in any case on this channel. And you guys seem to really be enjoying it. So I'm really excited and happy that you enjoy seeing me actually use the products in the box. So I figured if I could do that with boxy charm, why not do it with Sephora Play? Now, it's going to be a little bit more difficult with Sephora Play, I do believe, because Sephora Play seems to be more skincare based than makeup based. So we'll see, but I haven't even washed my face yet or anything. I haven't put on moisturizer because those are two things that are typically included, I feel like, in Sephora Play. So we'll be able to test them out together. If you are new to my channel or these boxes, Sephora Play is their monthly beauty subscription sample service thing. So you get five deluxe samples and then one perfume sample. Every month it's 10 bucks plus tax whatever your state charges so it's it's a bit of fun. I personally enjoy it. I know a lot of people, myself included, think that Sephora Play is a big disappointment most months but you know I, I don't know why but I keep on keeping on with these things because like I said I think they're fun <laughs> you know even if it is ten dollars down the drain at least I had a bit of fun trying something new. So opening this up here, here is the box. We get the pamphlet that tells us, you know, the theme of the month and then all of the products, you know, tells us about the products inside. And then also comes with this play pass, which as you can see here, it will give you 50 extra beauty insider points if you bring this in stores. Some people say you don't have to make a purchase to use this, but Sephora says you need to make a purchase and I've never tried not making a purchase and cash these in so you can try it either way however you are curious to do so. Ooh, I like the bag this month. I feel like this is the first time, well first time it's been tie-dye for sure. Sometimes they will do like a pink bag or like a gold or a black but typically they are white uh, but this one is a nice blue tie-dye with this beautiful blue ribbon. And what does this say? Beauty is my spirit animal. That really doesn't make sense but that's cute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what's inside. This bag feels softer than usual and like more pliable. I don't know, maybe that's because it's tie-dyed. I like to try and find the perfume sample first because that's my least favorite part of a bag. Okay, I'm actually going to pull out this little squeezy rippy packet because sometimes every now and then instead of a perfume sample they'll include like a shampoo and conditioner rippy packet which eh. This feels like there is nothing in it. Oh, that's because there is just a hair sheet. Okay, so this is the Way Hair Care Anti-Frizz Hair Sheet. Quickly tame frizz and add shine with these one-of-a-kind travel-friendly smoothing sheets. Works like a hair oil, smells like expensive perfume, and fits in your wallet. Ugh. Smells like perfume. Well, that could be either a good or a bad thing. So I don't know if I'm excited about this. I mean, I definitely know of people that use like dryer sheets and stuff and rub it in their hair to get rid of static and stuff. So I'm assuming it's the same kind of thing, but okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna go for this tall cardboardy thing. Hoo hoo, I'm a lip product fan. So this is a Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. Ooh, and this looks like a big sample. It's got a built-in brush for blending and contouring. And this is in the shade Hush Hush which looks like a nice rosy beigey nude. So that's exciting. I am really happy to have gotten that and to try that out. I do like Buxom lip products, like their lip polishes and glosses and stuff. Those are always really nice. Their lipsticks are nice too. So I'm pumped, I'm plumped to test that out. That didn't really work. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna go for this rectangular box thing. Ooh, sounds fancy. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. It's an invisible SPF primer and anti-aging treatment in one. Oh, that's exciting. I feel like we had gotten a sample of this or something similar that Murad makes and I was a dum-dum and never tried it out and then it expired. And this this one says it doesn't expire until 2020, so I've got a couple years. 
but I'm gonna try it today with you guys. So I'm really happy so far with the two products anyways. So next, let's see, I'll go for a bottle thingy instead of a cardboard thingy. I'll go for this squeezy tube, how about? Okay, so this is something I'll have to try out tonight, but this is the Lancome, oh, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, Melon Mousse Foaming Cleansing Makeup Remover. All right, this is a foaming makeup remover cleanser thing. Like I said, I will try it out tonight. And next, do I go cardboard or do I go bottle thingy? Do I go bottle thingy? No, I go cardboard. No, no. Ugh. I'm going cardboard, darn it. This always kind of baffles me when they include skin color products. But hopefully this will work. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. A modern hybrid powder foundation with a creamy texture and buildable soft matte finish. That sounds nice and something up my alley. Oh, okay, good. This actually looks like it will match me. They gave me the shade 14 Neutral Linen and it's available in 35 shades. That's really exciting. Okay, okay. So let's see you guys. Let's Last but not least, we have got a bottle of something or another. We have gotten this before. This is the Verb Ghost Oil Smoothing Moringa Blend Plus Weightless Hair Oil. I do really, really like this stuff and I love the smell of it. And I think that it works really nicely. It makes my hair very silky and soft, but I also feel like this can leave a buildup. I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's not unpleasant or anything. It's just kind of a silicone-y feel, like that soft feel. And I just feel like I have to wash my hair quicker with this or when I use this. So I still have mine from when they originally gave out a sample of this. I'm pretty close to being done with it, I think. But I only use it maybe like once every couple of weeks because I don't like having that build up in my hair. So I'm actually really happy with this month's Sephora play. I'm excited to test out this stuff. Let's see what they say. What's your festival beauty vibe? Was that the theme? Hey, let's take this little quiz. Am I going to a festival this year? Not that I know of. Have I ever been to one? Nope. Would I pay $8 for water? I mean, I'd rather not, but if I was desperate enough, but I'll go outrage. What's my go-to do? Definitely air dried. What's on the radio? The classics. I'm a low-key legend. You may not be rocking a wristband, but you are rocking out to your favorite bands every chance you get. While they're in line for water, you're online browsing festival beauty roundups. Purple eyebrows for work on Monday? Maybe not, but a purple lip stain for drinks with friends? That's music to your ears. That's definitely me. All right, like I said, I don't really know the point of that, but oh, it's festival season. Festival of beauty. So this month we've got everything you need to get into the spirit and define your style, whether you're camping in the desert or chilling on your couch. Ha, for the buxom, we've got rock pout instead of rock out. I don't know that I understand this pun, but for the lawn comb, it's lead cleaner. For Mirad, your claim to stain. Why stain? I don't understand why that's stain. I get the claim to fame thing, but why stain for a SPF primer? For the Sephora foundation, it's main stage matte. Ha, for the verb ghost oil, it's let the good times oil. And then for the bonus track, we have got the frizz fighters. I'm assuming instead of the foo fighters. All right. Fake, what do you think of this month's Sephora play? Was it worth mama's $10 and 70 some cents? He says, no, you could have bought me treats with that. Honey, you have loads of treats. Loads of treats. It looks like I'm three for three. The, I'm, I mean, I'm not not excited about these three, but you know, I'm not as excited. They're just kind of whatever. But the other three I am definitely excited about trying are the foundation, the lip product, and the primer. So I can test that out with you guys today. And then I have got these other products that I can test with you guys today. So, yay! Let's go ahead and do that! Whee! All right, so I went ahead and washed and moisturized my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and test out this primer. I'm gonna use it on half of my face and then use a normal primer of mine on the other half of my face. 94% of people saw improved smoothness and texture in a sponsored study by Murad. So I know I've got a couple slash a few, three very big breakouts right now. I shouldn't say breakouts, cysts, horrible cysts, but we're gonna attempt to cover them a little bit with makeup. So it's at a, oops, eh, eh, that should be okay. It said to use a pea-sized amount on your full face, so I tried to get a half a pea. I don't think it smells like anything. I suppose I can 
zoom you guys in a little bit here. I'm gonna put it on this side of my face where I don't have this huge one, just in case this is irritating on my skin. Let's see how this does. Okay, so it's that very slip slidey silicone type feeling. I don't know, I don't feel like that was enough. That hardly even covered that amount of my face, so I am gonna go in with just a little, little bit more so I can get my chin and my nose better. There we go. I mean, it feels very lightweight for being so slip slidey, silicone -y feeling. I just, these primers typically don't work well on my skin. But we shall see. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Smashbox Primerizer, like I said, on the other half of my face, just so we can have a nice comparison. All right, so I went ahead and put on my concealer. Now we can go ahead and test out this foundation. And it says in the little pamphlet thing from the box that you can use this with either a brush if you want to go very lightweight coverage, but then you use a sponge if you want fuller coverage. So let's see, I'm just gonna touch this first. It is very, very silky and soft. That's really, really nice. And yeah, I think that's gonna... That's gonna be a good shade match for me. Yay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge. There is debate about whether or not you use the sponge wet or dry when you do powder foundation. I personally like to do it wet. I just, I think it looks nice. So I'm gonna give it a shot. It does seem to be doing a good amount of coverage. So there you go, there it is on the skin. I think it looks okay. It does look pretty matte, which you know, it does claim to do that, but I think it looks matte in a not necessarily flattering way. I mean, it just looks a little powdery. My skin feels like silky smooth though, so I can say that much about it. But I mean, it was easy enough to apply and everything. I think it looks a bit darker on my skin now that it's applied rather than when I had just put it on the back of my hand. And I do think it looks a bit cakier on the side with the silicone primer. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead, put on some more makeup, and then I'll be back in just a second here. All right, so most of my makeup is on. It's a light makeup day, but we have one more product to be testing out. So let's do this, shall we? It smells like a pencil, you know, pretty strong. And it looks like it goes on decently. I feel like it might be kind of hard for you guys to see because this is pretty, pretty close to my natural lip color. But... It's definitely going on creamier as I keep using it. But there you go, there's what it looks like. I know I didn't use the brush, but I didn't see a need to <laughs> since I'm just filling in my whole lip today. Feels comfortable. It doesn't feel drying or anything. I am going to put some gloss on top of it because I want something, just a little something, so. I'm just using a nude gloss. Pretty! It's actually a really awesome lip combo. So yay! I think that is going to do it for now. I'm gonna get on with my day. I've got another couple of videos I want to get filmed here. I am going to hang out with some friends and just, you know, have a normal day, but I will see you all at the very end of the night so that you can see how all of this is looking and also so that I can try out this Mule and Mousse makeup remover with you guys from Wonko. So yeah, I will just see you all in just a second here on YouTube land. Bye. All right, my friends, bathroom lighting, looking great. I will, however, insert some footage here so you can see in better lighting what my foundation looks like and everything. I think it definitely hung in there. It's too dark for me. That was one thing, very strange. This seemed to oxidize or something, which for a powder foundation seems a bit strange, but I think it looks okay. It didn't keep me matte all day, obviously, but I do think it hung in. I think it looks cakier on my chin on the side with the silicone primer, but I do think that that silicone primer felt really lightweight all day and nice, you know? So we'll have to see when I wake up in the morning if I have tons of breakouts on that side of my face. 
Fingers crossed, please, that that does not happen. The thing that I'm happiest with is this lip liner. I just think this lip combo looks fantastic in general. It's super lightweight. You guys will get a review on the Urban Decay glosses. I think it'll be the next video that you see. But this lip liner really helped it to just stay in place longer. And it was really nice, you know, it applies well. And for 17 bucks, I just, I think it's a good lip liner. And I think that kind of pays for the price of my box there. Just the lip liner, I think that might not have been a $10 value, but close-ish. So the reason I'm in the bathroom, and I'm sorry, it sounds like someone just decided to take a shower. That's, that's great timing. But I am here to test out the makeup removing, cleansing, foaming mousse. It says it's a cleansing makeup remover. So I am not going to remove any of my makeup, which is strange for me, but we're gonna, we're gonna give this a try. So I hope, I think you all can see me. I don't have my glasses on now, so I really, I can see that there's a blob shaped human in the viewfinder, but beyond that, I got nothing. Just gonna wet my face, I guess. Oh, it is so strange. It is so strange not removing my makeup or not removing my makeup before I wash my face. <laughs> this stuff is thick though. Ew and snotty. Oh, can you see that? Ah! Like actual snotty, nasty. Okay, but hey, if it removes my makeup, let's do it. Oh, it smells really nice. It is thick like me. Thrift pick, anyone? Yeah? Okay, so there's like maybe one use in this little tube bottle. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll be able to remove my whole face though. I'm curious. I can't imagine. Can you use this on your eyes? I wouldn't think so. In case of contact with eyes, rinse them immediately and thoroughly. Okay, so I'm not gonna try. Originally, I was like, I'm gonna try and remove all of my makeup. I will not be removing my mascara with this. And I take it back. I think I can maybe get two or three uses out of this. It does feel really nice. It's a really thick, thick gel type consistency. It does kind of feel like honey. Cause I think, isn't that miel? Isn't that honey in French? I just think of the nux, nux, rev de, rev de miel. I don't pretend like I can speak French, you guys, but it has a slight honey scent and then also a slightly fresh scent. It smells really nice and I can imagine with the honey that it's gonna be really uh, moisturizing. Whew, okay. So ignoring the mascara and poor rinse job. My skin feels very soft. It does, but I'm just gonna use some micellar water here and see if there's any makeup left on my face. Uh, my towel certainly had makeup left yeah yeah oh yeah that's no good that is not good at all so i'm gonna say no on the makeup remover from lancome that clearly did not get my skin clear <laughs> but it did it was nice to use and my face feels soft it just didn't remove makeup like it says it would so yeah i'm gonna say for this box i'm gonna say it was decent i mean if anything i enjoyed testing out the foundation and this cleansing thing and also the primer i'll definitely try the primer like i said if it doesn't break me out i will try it out with a different foundation and everything just to see if it just gets cakey with powder foundations like the one I use today. I don't know that I'm going to test the foundation anymore. I don't know. I'm just not a big powder foundation type person and it was too dark for me. So yeah, now that I remember that, I will not be trying that foundation again because I can't really mix that with my lightning liquid medium. But I'm still happy I got to test it out. The true winner, like I said, is definitely that lip uh, lip pencil. That's what they're called. I'm really happy with that gorgeous color. I love the formula. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and trying of all the products with me like I did for my BoxyCharm. Let me know down below in the comments if you do like this format better than just an unboxing like I used to do for these Sephora plays. I love getting you guys' feedback. You can also go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed enjoyed the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be. And if you are new here and you would like to, you can go ahead and subscribe. You can see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. 
And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Are you going potty? It's not quite the way it works. Gotta lift the lid. Yes, the lid. I went to a club, right? And um, they had no baggy pants and no sneakers. That was wild. I didn't know what to think about that.